Imagine what life would be like if you and your friends were a pirate crew. You could sail the Grand Line and make your way to the new world. You and your crew become stronger and more experienced along the way. To me, that is a desirable adventure that none would have taken for granted. Welcome to my first video on this channel. My name is JO7. Today, we're going to talk about what I think could make a perfect One Piece game. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about One Piece is its world building. So naturally, a One Piece game would have to be immersive and practically beg you to explore the vast oceans and islands the One Piece world has to offer. The game could start off with a few islands, you know, East Blue, Arlong Park, Log Town, Alabasta, Skypea, etc. And every now and then, new islands would be added so the game wouldn't get stale. You know, you could add Dressrosa, Whole Cake Island, Wano, potentially Elbath, Laugh Tale, whatever. And there would be enemies on set islands and you would get stronger by fighting them and leveling up your character which would lead into another important factor that i have that i think would be very vital in a one piece game another important factor to me would be the customization and power potential your character would have you could choose to be a pirate marine revolutionary bounty hunter normal civilian etc but let's be honest though who's gonna pick anything but pirate i'm just saying maybe revolutionary army could be argued with but come on bro there's no way nobody's gonna pick pirate bro you could create your character similar to uh gta uh 2k elden ring any game that has like remotely good customization not sonic forces let me stop and i'm not entirely sure how this will work but maybe depending on your build your strength and speed can be affected for example if you make yourself 82 feet tall you'd be pretty slow or i don't know how fast whitebeard is because lucky rue is huge but he's the fastest character in one piece <laughs> let me stop let me chill i mean maybe i don't know whatever i mean maybe you could go the whole game without eating a devil fruit or you could roll for one at the first island in the game it could work similar to like blocks fruits or grand piece online where if you ate another devil fruit you would lose on your progress all the previous one or it could work on the series that the game is based on one piece in which you can only eat a second or third devil fruit based off your capabilities as a pirate you know think of blackbeard i don't know maybe he figured out the science behind eating two devil fruits there's got to be a science to it we gonna see though we gonna see because we don't know why he has two he just has two and to become a great pirate in the one piece world you need a crew like look at luffy he's like oh i need 10 of them i need 10 motherfuckers yeah I believe this could work similar to the previously mentioned GTA games in which the online mode, you can create your own crew with your friends. Personally, I never did it because I have no friends. <laughs> sorry uh, for me i think this will work differently though i think each pirate crew has their own roles they need to fill let's look at the straw hats for example right luffy's the captain zoro's the vice captain nami's the navigator Usopp's stops doing that marksman thing sanji's cooking chopper doctor and yayo 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 yeah, 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 yeah. ho ho let me stop i believe that another way someone could level up their stats is via mini games for example Let's look at Sanji, right? He could have cooking mini games similar to the Ratatouille sections in Kingdom Hearts 3. Essentially, they could just gain XP by fulfilling their role during the voyages between islands. So like Jinbei, for example, you know how in Sea of Thieves, you'd be driving the boat. I don't know, I never played Sea of Thieves. I never even seen gameplay footage of Sea of Thieves. I don't know what I'm talking about Sea of Thieves, but I think you could like, you like traverse islands or tra traverse oceans and stuff. and it'd be kind of a boring job but granted i think you'd have fun like you know just whipping shit you know like a regular pirate it's, it'd be a very time consuming game i think that's kind of an issue it might be an issue i don't know i don't know how people would f with that let me know if y'all would mess with that and we'll talk about it in the comments and um another important aspect i think is the most important aspect of the gameplay is the combat you know one piece has a whole range of moves that a character can use whole range of fighting styles you know what i'm saying dope fruit fighting style hockey um any type of style like you could be a cyborg like frankie a fish man like jimbei or just any simple devil fruit user i think the aspect of hockey could be crazy like you just level it up you, you like learn the basics of it from like rayleigh or mihawk or whoever you know i think the hockey aspect would be the most important thing of a one piece mmo action rpg yeah that's what i'm calling it you could get trained by like Rayleigh and you know fight enemies using certain techniques you know you could use um just basic armament and you could eventually level it up to Rewo, eventually level up your observation and get future sight your conquerors to get coding you know what i'm saying so yeah 
With all that being said, that is the gist of what I believe could be the perfect One Piece game. Something with longevity that can keep people busy for a very long time. I love to form a pirate crew with my friends, maybe the possibility of a fleet if you have a high enough level. You guys have anything to add to my idea of the game or have your own idea of the perfect One Piece game? Feel free to comment down below for more content like this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you.